Hello everyone, my name is Isis Daniel and I am your master of wine. And here today, we are talking about enjoying wine, point blank, period. So last Sunday, my mother and I, we have a show together, Sunday Dinner with Valencia and Isis. Like, subscribe, follow, Facebook Live, get into it. But anyway, um, we actually tried a Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand. You guys know where, right? New Zealand, Sauvignon Blanc, Marlboro, all together. But anyway, because we had that from the first show, remember? But the twist about this wine was it was sparkling. And it actually had like a cool like soda pop top or like a beer cap. So it was very different for me. I actually haven't had a, a you know, a sparkling Sauvignon Blanc. So it was super cool to try, but it wasn't something I was crazy about. And so after the show, mom and I, we were just talking about enjoying wine and pairings. I think, what did we have? We had salmon and broccoli. So that Sauvignon Blanc had had a vegetal aftertaste that, you know, we already know um, that Sauvignon Blanc, high uh, acidity, but then also the herbaceous flavors are super, super prominent in Sauvignon Blancs. And then with this wine, it to me was not very balanced. And at the end, um, it's like the vegetal taste, it just smacked you in the face. It was just totally just prominent there but not in a good way, you know? Um, <laughs> that, that's just me, how I felt. And it was interesting tasting the salmon, because the salmon with the Sauvignon Blanc, which you know typically is not a bad pair, it's a pretty basic pair, um, it wasn't that great. But then when we had it with the broccoli, it was awesome. Why? It's, it's really that vegetal character that went together with it, right? But moving on from that, it was a very interesting wine and I will put it in the comments below so that you guys can get, you know, taste it and let me know what you think about the wine. Was it for me, but it might be for you. So I'll let you guys know that. But after the show, we were talking about wine pairings, which I am planning a wine pairing show for you guys. It's going to be super, super in depth and awesome. But talking to my mom, she has been learning so much throughout this journey. Anything I learned, I have been pouring into her. And she's just like totally just flabbergasted about how much she has learned. And she's super excited about all the knowledge that's going to come her way. But beyond that, it was really, I don't know. So my mom, as she's been learning, she's also been feeling like if you're going to eat food, you're, the pairing has to be perfect. It needs to go well together or else you can't drink that wine. And it's important that everyone knows, yes, we're going through this journey and I'm trying to teach you guys as much as I possibly can. But at the same time, I don't want you to lose the main point of drinking wine, which is to enjoy it. Like, that's it. We drink wine to enjoy it. Yes, I'm a psalm, and it's awesome to know all of the techniques of enjoying wine and developing a, you know, a sound pilot but at the end of the day, if you like to drink Sauvignon Blancs or whatever, and you want a steak and you know that, okay, if I'm gonna have a steak, I probably need to have a wine that's a little more hearty, that can, ha that can stand up with the flavors and the fats. Yes, okay, great, that's awesome. If you know that and you want a pair, do that. But if you want your wine and you want your food, it's okay to do that. Like, don't lose focus on just enjoying the wine. Because if you put yourself in a box where you're constantly having to pair and everything else, I mean, what's going to happen when you really want a glass of wine and you just don't have the food in your pantry to make it and you don't feel like going to the store? You're going you gonna, to you gonna, you gonna pour it. Like, you just drink the wine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, and, you know, my mom, she, she was like, oh, my gosh, Ice is like, really? I didn't know that I can just enjoy the wine. I'm like, yes. 
And I mean, I guess because when you're in this mindset of I'm learning so much and I just want to practice everything I learn, that's fine too. But again, don't lose focus. Drink the wine. Enjoy the wine. Okay? okay. But yeah, that's really like all I wanted to talk about today. Enjoy the wine. Remember that, you know, we have all of these w national wine days and pairings and everything's awesome. Like this wine world is just great, but no. Number one, we enjoy it. Number two, we experiment and we learn as much as we can about wine. And then we also break the barriers that people try to make us stay in when it comes to wine and food. No, set yourself free. Enjoy the wine, the glass, the bottle the keg okay have you guys heard about um wines on keg yeah that's that's a thing by the way just in case you're wondering and it's not that bad you know people try to be so i don't know extra when it comes to wine if it's not from the bottle i don't want it okay if it's from a box i haven't had any but you bet on this show we're gonna try some I heard that there are some amazing box wines out there. We're going to try it, and we're going to see if we like it. Um, I actually am a manager at a restaurant currently, and um, what we do there, we actually have wines on keg. And we have people who come in and are just like, I didn't see the keg. Like, I, I just can't. I can't drink that. And it's really, it's, it's not bad. You don't have to worry about you know, any cork issues. You don't have to worry if the wine's being stored correctly or not. You don't have to worry about temperature. You don't have to worry about, you know, it being oxidized and like oxygen getting in the keg. You, it's like, it's cool. Okay, so also go out there and try that. People who don't want to try twist tops, get over yourself. You don't understand how happy I am after a long day's work. And I see I have a bottle of wine that I have been, you know, that's been chilled and i'm like i don't feel like getting the cork out and then i realize it's a twist top and i'm just like thank god okay whatever don't be so uptight wine is not meant to be uptight i know that the industry is but wine is not it wine is for all go out there and enjoy it i don't care if it's a box I don't care if it's a bottle. I don't care if it's champagne. I don't care if it has like the um, Sauvignon Blanc, the sparkling Sauvignon Blanc we just had, which had like a, a, a can thing. What, what's the thing called? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, it's okay. Just drink wine. Don't allow it to be so intense and put you in a position where you can't enjoy wine. Or there's always a stipulation that makes you so, makes it so that you can't drink it. It's stupid. And you might miss out on the one that you love. Am I talking about wine or am I talking about your soulmate? Think about it. But anyway, so I know it sounds crazy. I'm kind of just ranting about enjoying wine, but it's it's true. Get yourself out the box. And once you allow yourself to be out the box, then we can honestly enjoy together drinking this stuff all right so i have to go i'm going on a date with my boyfriend because he loves me okay and we'll definitely have some wine again this week so two two videos this week it's just i'm really busy <laughs> <laughs> but I stole some time for you guys. I love you. I'll see you next time. Don't forget, drink a bottle of wine by yourself and enjoy it. Or a box. But anyway, love you. Bye, babies.